This is the 1900 B series, and we're going to do several clamps on this. And basically, we're just doing some tacks on the end of some webbing or rope like webbing. And here, our first pattern that you have here is an inch and a half by three quarter box and cross pattern. And it's just to give you familiar familiarization with this here this is your ready button. Okay, this is a reset button. This is memory switch to go into the patterns. When you press this button here, it makes the clamp come down. Okay, and then you can use the plus key to jog through one stitch at a time. That's how you can check your pattern out. Okay, when you want to go back, you just press this, and then everything's back to normal again. So here we have this first pattern, so we're going to do the first application here. On here, you've got two backstops. You've got one backstop here, one backstop here. If what you're sewing, the, the front backstop is in a way, you could always just remove it. So here is he's putting that in place. You need to make sure you're far enough away from the buckle. We removed the wiper because with the very heavy webbing, the wiper will hit and then cause a problem. So we just better just to take it away. Okay. So now on that same clamp, we can change this pattern and do a smaller. So we're going to hit the ready button here. I want to go up to the half by half box and cross. And here is the narrow webbing. Now here, the front gauge isn't going to be uh, usable. So just have it against the back box. And you can show that half by half box and cross on the 5 8 webbing. You can't really see it because it's dark here. Going through the other patterns here on the same clamp, installed on the machine some line tacks. So we have a line tack on the left side and we'll show this on the red webbing that you can see here. And you have the same pattern here on the right side. Okay, so now we're going to change the clamp to the larger pattern. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the red light off so nothing will fire up, and we're going to remove this. And there's two screws that hold the clamp on in place. These are four millimeter, three millimeter. They're three millimeter screws. Excuse me. Four. Oh, excuse me. Four millimeter screws. And then you remove the feed plate. If you notice this back, this is called the arch frame here. There's one screw on here. If you ever need to adjust anything, this is slotted in this direction only. There's a channel on the bottom to keep it straight. But because we did both patterns at the same time here, we've made both clamps rather easily changed without moving too much. When you go to put the feed plate on, we're just going to roughly put it in the right spot because you see that everything is slotted there. And when he lines up the clamp, then he can adjust where the feed plate is because the clamp will be somewhat fixed being that we didn't move this arch. So we put the larger clamp on here. Now in this case, he's kind of rushing a little bit just for the sake of the video, but normally you take a little time, it really doesn't take that long. Right now this video with everything here is barely five minutes. So how much of that was changing the clamp? Eh, maybe about a minute, two minutes.
now he can load up the pattern and this is going to be the big box and cross the inch and a half by three quarters and when we press the ready button we can line up where everything is going to be so again we'll press that button so that we make the clamps come down and it lines up okay we don't have to adjust anything here and then you're all set so then there's the larger box and cross Okay, now we also put on here, we also put on a, a rope tack. So we're going to just change the pattern to this rope tack. And you notice up top, we're able to write on here what these things are. There's a function here before you load up the pattern. Um, there's your X scale, Y scale, the speed, and then you have a way to put comments in here. So here we have the rope tack. And now, even though the speed is set at 1200, we manually change the program so that it only goes at 600 RPM. So, for all the other patterns, we have an ability to go as high as 16. For these patterns, we've set the limit at, at 1600, even though the machine can go to 32. Based on what you're sewing, um, we wanted to bring that down a little bit. But on the rope tack, we also want to be at 1200. So, I'm just going to change that anyway so that you can see that it's at, 12, uh, excuse me, at 600 and hitting the ready button. And now here's the roll pack. That's it.